So these are our top 10 most valuable minifigures here. So what we'll be doing is going from 10 to 1 and telling you about all the minifigures, what they cost, and various things like that. So let's get into it. So here in our number 10 spot, we have the Great Britain mini Olympic minifigure pack, Gymnast. She would have came with a medallion and a special plate, but we have lost those. So her worth is a bit less than it would have been. She is worth about $10 on Bricklink. She came out in 2012 for the 2012 at London Olympics. She came in a, a bag worth $2, and the set number is 890. She is a really cool and quite exclusive minifigure because she only came out in the UK during that year. So now in our number nine spot, we have the Royal Guard, which is a poly bag exclusive to Hamleys. He came out in 2018, and he is from set 5005233. He was worth about $9.51 original retail price as the poly bag, and this is US dollars. But now if you want to buy him in US dollars, he costs about $12.05. He is a really cool minifigure, as you can see. He has an exclusive head printing and body. See the back, and a very nice hat. Now in our number eight position is Alia Secura. She is in the 2017 Republic Tank. She is from set 75182, and the set costs originally $20 at the time it came out, but now you can buy her on Bricklink for around $19.94, so she has gone up in price quite a lot since then. She is a pretty nice figure, and has a double-sided face, as you can see here, and she is just fun for all. Now in the number 7 spot is the Season 7 Ahsoka. She did just come out, and that is probably the reason why she is so expensive at the moment. She came in the AAT, which if you want to see a review of that set, it will be in the cards now. She came comes in a $40 set. She is worth $16.44 on Bricklink right now. And she is just a really cool figure. As you can see, she has a double-sided head and a rubber headpiece. She is a very desired figure because many people like the Clone Wars. Now, for our number six position is the 332nd Clone Trooper. He is from the same set as Ahsoka's from, the AAT. He came out in 2020. The set is $40 now. And his figure, because he's so new and so desired, because the set is quite hard to get right now, he is worth $17.94. The funny thing is, is that his body, it, the only thing that's different in him, other from a normal 501st Trooper, from the 501st Battle Pack, is just his helmet. And he probably will go in, down in price quite soon, but he is a really cool figure, and he's from set 75283. Now for our number five minifigure, halfway up the list, is the fifth brother Inquisitor. He is from Captain Rex's ATTE, which came out in 2017. The set was worth $110 retail price, and his figure now is worth $20.32, about that on Bricklink. The set number is 75157. He is a very cool person. He has a exclusive to himself armor piece and an exclusive lightsaber piece which he can click on his back he also has a double-sided head and an exclusive hat so he is quite a cool figure for anyone who likes star wars rebels now for our number four spot is the clone lieutenant he came in the hail fire droid from 2015 which was set 75085 he, the set at the time was worth $20, and his figure right now is worth $21.40. Before this Hailfire set, there was a poly bag which came with a clone lieutenant that was very similar to him, except for it had white legs instead of these printed legs. He is a very cool and desired minifigure, and is 
great for building your phase one clone army. So now we're at the bottom of the podium with the reverse flash in third place. He is from set Speed Force Freeze Pursuit, which came out in 2018, which is set 6698. He, that set at the time was worth $30, and right now, if you were to sell him on Bricklink, you would get around $26.18 for him. Marvel fans like this figure very much because he only came in this set and is a very formidable foe against the Flash. You can see he has a cool double-sided face here and a very nice headpiece. He also has quite fun printing and one of these stub blaster things. <laughs> so now in our second place is Admiral Thrawn. He came in the Phantom, which was the second Phantom, which was from 2017. The set was $30, and it was set 75170. He is now worth $32.93, because who doesn't like Admiral Thrawn? Well, most people. But many people do want him for his their army, so that he can help the Imperials strategize to defeat the Rebels, and then he can be defeated himself. He's quite a nice figure with very good printing on his body and his back and a very cool head with an angry face and a mean concentrated face. Now on to number one. So now in first place is Phase 2 Captain Rex. He came in Bark Speeder with Sidecar set from 2013. That set was worth $30 at the time and is set 75012. His price has shot up so much, he is now worth $54.12. The set is actually worth like $115. His price has increased, it used to be around probably $25, but it's now increased to $50 to $100 because of his rarity and how much people want him, especially after the Clone Wars Season 7 because he is one of the very main characters. You can see his detailing on his helmet is very nice and his body, his legs, you can see the back. The pauldrons that are on him right now are not his original pauldrons and if they were he would be worth a lot more. So if you want to see how to make pauldrons like that you can check it out in the cards. Um, so this is our most valuable Lego minifigure. He is a great minifigure and so we really like him. Yeah. So those were our top 10 most valuable Lego minifigures. We hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll see you next time. Bye!